Well, each year, the black and white movie classic, It's a Wonderful Life, eases us into the holiday season. Its director, Frank Capra, also created celluloid magic with movies like Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. As CBS 2 Susie Sa tells us, tonight his family shares recently unearthed Capra treasures written by the Hollywood legend himself. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. I ran the projector when we ran It's a Wonderful Life. We know every Christmas Eve we ran it. Tom Capra, son of legendary film director Frank Capra, watches his dad's holiday classic, It's a Wonderful Life, every year. Or a frustrated old man, Mr. Potter. When six time Academy Award winner Frank Capra wasn't directing iconic movies, he and wife Lou would escape the Hollywood grind to go fishing in California's High Sierra at their cabin purchased in 1948 on majestic Silver Lake. It's surrounded by humongous mountains and they just go straight up and there's snow on the top. I mean, it's just a gorgeous place. Tom recalls at the end of his dad's career, Capra typing away in the cabin's master bedroom. I mean, he just shut the door and we'd hear the typewriter going for like four hours. That was, you know, then he'd go fishing. When Frank Capra passed away in 1991, keepsakes like his Oscar statues were divided amongst his children, along with this box that went around the world with Tom and his wife, Chris, until they opened it in 2012. I had this shredder next to me and I said, what is this? And I, he goes, oh, it's something my dad wrote. And I said, I started reading out loud and I said, oh, I think I, think I better keep this one. What they uncovered were two Frank Capra manuscripts like Hollywood Frank had Frank never Frank. set eyes on. They're both so different. That's a novel and this other one is pretty much a true story. Yeah. Cry Wilderness is a little guy versus the establishment novel that takes place in Capra's real life cabin community about 25 miles from Mammoth. Six noble peaks brush the sky. Capra charmingly writes himself into the story in the first person as the Hollywood producer narrator. So I said to hell with Hollywood and anyway trout season was opening and I have a wife Lou who will fly right out of a beauty shop in the middle of a hair due to go fishing. The writing and characters are quintessentially Capra-esque. And you have compassion for them. Oh God, I wish I could tell you, but I don't want to ruin the book for people. Give it away. No. The second manuscript titled Night Voices is Capra's personal wonderful life when he felt Hollywood turned on him at the end of his career. He believes he spoke to the devil one night when he was sitting up at the lake house drinking too much and that the devil tried to convince him to write movies without values. But Capra stuck with values, something we still crave decades later. Well, Capra's true life story, Night Voices, is still a manuscript and is being considered for a film. Cry Wilderness is on bookshelves right now. The introduction is written by actor-director Ron Howard, who says the novel is genuine, intriguing, and wonderfully Capra-esque.